Hi there. My name is Rosie. In this video, I'll explain how researchers perform vulnerability research and exploitation. Several things must be taken into account when selecting a software target. The operating system on which it runs, indeed, the analysis won't be the same for all OS, so it's important to know this when choosing a software target. Analyzing a binary with or without its source code isn't at all the same thing. Without the source code, you'll have to reverse engineer the binary to understand how it works, which is much more difficult than just reading code. Researchers may choose a software that is known to have security vulnerabilities or that has a history of security incidents in order to understand and mitigate these risks. Choosing widely used software will increase the potential impact of the findings and the likelihood that the research will be useful to others. Several techniques can be used to understand how a software works. Researchers can study the software's design and implementation through its documentation, user manuals, and by reviewing its source code. This helps researchers understand the intended behavior of the software, as well as its underlying structure and components. When you don't have any source code, you can use reverse engineering techniques to analyze the software's binary code and understand its internal workings. This process can involve disassembling the code, analyzing it in a debugger, and creating visual representations of the software's flow and data structures. You can also use dynamic analysis tools and techniques to observe the software's behavior while it's running. This can include monitoring system calls, memory usage, and network traffic to gain insight into the software's operation. Researchers research the attack surface of a software system to identify the various ways in which an attacker could potentially exploit the system. They look for areas where the software does not properly validate, sanitize, or filter user inputs, which can lead to security issues such as buffer overflows, code execution, or information disclosure. Threat modeling is a structured approach to understanding and analyzing potential security threats to a system. The goal of threat modeling is to identify potential vulnerabilities and risks in the system and to prioritize and address those risks. Overall, the attack surface is everything that modifies the behavior of a program and that might be exploited by an attacker. Identifying vulnerabilities can be done in several ways. Researchers can analyze the source code of a software application to identify potential vulnerabilities and security issues. This can be done using automated tools or manual code review. Code analysis can help researchers identify issues such as buffer overflows, SQL injections, and other types of vulnerabilities. Performing penetration testing on the software application can help to identify vulnerabilities that might not be apparent from code analysis alone. Fuzzing is a technique used to identify vulnerabilities by providing large amounts of random or semi-random data as inputs to a program. The goal of fuzzing is to uncover any unexpected behaviors, crashes, or security vulnerabilities that may occur when the program is exposed to unexpected inputs. Researchers may also disassemble binary code to analyze the structure and behavior of the software system and identify any potential attack scenarios. Several steps are required to develop working exploits. Researchers first need to understand the vulnerability and its impact on the system. They must analyze the code and understand how the vulnerability can be exploited. Once the vulnerability is understood, the next step is to develop a proof-of-concept code to demonstrate how the vulnerability can be exploited. This involves writing code that takes advantage of the vulnerability to cause a specific result. The final step is to package the exploit in a format that can be used by others. This may involve creating a script, a tool, or a payload that can be used to exploit the vulnerability in a real-world scenario. The ultimate goal of integrating exploits into an offensive security framework is to make it easier for researchers to execute complex attacks, automate the exploitation process, and increase the success rate of the attacks. First of all, researchers need to choose a framework that meets their requirements and provides the necessary features for the exploit to be integrated effectively. 
Some popular offensive security frameworks include Metasploit, Cobalt Strike, and Empire. Integrating the exploits into a framework typically involves adding the exploit code to the framework's database and configuring the exploit to work with the target environment. To finish, researchers test the integrated exploit to make sure it works as expected and that it doesn't cause any unintended consequences. They also validate that the exploit is effective against the target and that it meets the requirements set out in the initial scope of the project. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!